Our top story, the U.S. Secretary of State says that Washington will return to the 2015 Iran nuclear deal when Tehran goes back to full compliance with the accord. Antony Blinken made the comment during his first press briefing at the State Department. The White House has said it will hold talks with its allies regarding the nuclear agreement, also known as a Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. Former U.S. President Donald Trump abandoned the deal in 2018 and reimposed sanctions on Tehran. In return, Iran reduced some of its commitments under the JCPOA, citing the remaining signatories' failure to uphold their end of the bargain. The Islamic repeatedly rejected any precondition for the U.S. to rejoin the accord, saying it will return to full compliance only after Washington lifts economic sanctions. Joining us out of uh, New York is John Bostonich, political commentator. Hello, John. Pleasure to have you back on Press TV. Get your perspective on things. Uh, your thoughts on this latest development out of the State Department? Well, I, I would say that uh, Iran is taking a position in it because that uh, the party that violated the court has to repair the violation. And once it repairs the violation, then the court can reenact it or react it. So, uh, under normal circumstances, Iran's position is entirely legal and entirely standard policy. However, we know that these are not normal, normal circumstances because you're dealing with the United States of America. I had the distinct displeasure of dealing with the United States for nine and a half months when I was based in Japan and consulting with the Japanese government. And I can tell you it's no easy thing to achieve. But uh, Japan's first position must be First, the violation of the accord must be corrected by the party that violated it. And once the violation is corrected, then anything else is discussable. Right. So, John, so what happens when uh, Washington says, look, you guys get back into full compliance, we'll come back into the agreement uh, and lift the sanctions. And Iran says, no, you guys opted out back in May of 2018 under uh, Trump's administration. You guys get back into full compliance lift the sanctions, and we'll get back in. So what are we headed for an impasse, do you think, or do you think this thing will get resolved? Well, if, if there is genuine goodwill on the part of the United States, there should not be an impasse. That's the main question to be discussed here. Is there genuine goodwill, or is this just a lot here to lead to more pressure and more aggressiveness towards Iran? And I think Iran has to play this safe, and say that there must be some step on the part of the United States to demonstrate goodwill. And the United States makes a partial lifting of sanctions, a partial opening of bank accounts, or some other partial goodwill step, then normally Iran could make a corresponding step in return. But under no circumstances should Iran or any country, neither my native Canada, nor Serbia, where I live generally now, nor Japan, where I worked as an advisor, none of those countries would ever take the first step if they were not the violators of the accord that was in place. So we're, we're at a very great situation where Iran should stick literally to its position. Okay, and as far as uh, opposition to getting back into the JCPOA between Washington and Tehran, you have Tel Aviv, you have Riyadh, you have the American Party. How much do you think, or how successful I should... Uh, rephrase it, do you think they'll be in throwing a wrench into this thing? Well, first of all, uh, uh, in, incoming new President Biden has been ruling literally by presidential decree since taking office. He's been issuing unilateral presidential decrees and presidential orders since taking office without any regard to Congress, without any regard to the House or Senate. So I don't see why President Biden, who is currently empowered when the House is not sitting, is currently empowered to take actions by himself, would not take the first step as a new president, who says that he's very, very different from Donald Trump, do something to demonstrate that. It doesn't have to be a 100% dropping of sanctions. It can be a dropping selectively of key sanctions that Iran requests to be dropped. Presumably, banking and trade sanctions. If those sanctions could be eased or dropped, then Iran could take a gradual step towards the same center point. 
anything else would be the equivalent of accepting that you are not going to be dealing as an equal partner in these negotiations. All right, but stay safe. Thanks for joining us on the program from New York, Mr. John Bosnich, political commentator. Thank you. You bet.